Well, here we are going to be um, looking at coefficient of restitution. Okay, coefficient of restitution is the ratio of the relative velocities, velocity of two elastic bodies after rebounding to the rel relative velocity before impact. Relative velocity after rebounding, that means after collision, all over relative velocity before collision. Now note that the relative velocities between two bodies is the sum or the difference between their um, velocities depending on whether they are moving in the same direction or in different direction. Well, let me pause here and explain something. Um, when you have, um, when two objects are moving with their velocities, if they are moving in the same direction, the relative velocities will be to subtract. Will be to subtract. So one is moving relative to the other. But if they are moving in opposite direction, their relative velocity will be to add. So same direction, you subtract. Opposite direction, you add. Okay, so let's continue here. You can see that for perfectly elastic collision, if the collision is, a, is perfectly elastic, your E is equal to 1. The coefficient of restitution is 1. But for perfectly inelastic collision, your E is 0. Okay? And we should note that the coefficient of restitution is always positive. So hence, always subtract the smallest number from the largest number. Good. Now look at this question. It says two spheres A and B collide with each other before collision. Sphere A was moving at 5 meter per second. Okay? To the right. Sphere B was moving at 2 meter per second to the left. Opposite direction. Note. After the collision, sphere A was moving at 1 meter per second to the right. Sphere B was moving at 3 meter per second to the right. Same direction. What is the coefficient of restitution between the two balls? Very simple. After collision, they are after the collision, the relative velocities moving in the same direction, you subtract. That means 3 minus 1. Divided by, before they collided, they were moving in opposite direction, 5 minus 2. Remember, it's always the larger number minus the smaller number. So, this is going to give us 2 over 3. So, 2 over, sorry, this is 5 plus 2, sorry. So, that will give us 2 over 7. And 2 over 7 is 0 0.286. I think this is quite simple. And, um... We can stop here.